Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabak USA. In this video, we are going to continue with the class how to become a computer technician. So in this class, we are going to talk about selecting and installing a CPU. So in this case, we are going to talk about this side of the whiteboard and we are going to talk about the other side in a little bit. So first, I'm going to start send the, this thing so if you have to choose a cpu i hope you have seen my other classes that i'm talking about the cache of the cpu the clock and everything else so this will be the next step so if you if you have seen that that is great otherwise you can go and you can buy the full class if you want to or you can do i mean it will be on my website gabak usa or you can also go in the playlist and you can start seeing most of my videos over there that, and you can see them by order. So let's start with this class. So in this case we have Intel or AMD. So those are the big brands that you're going to find uh, today and for many years surely. I don't think so it's going to we are going to see any other new brand but uh, even than that other than that it will be the same thing you can apply this knowledge for uh, uh, I don't know if there is a new brand of CPUs for desktop or something like that it will be basically the same thing so you have to uh, pay attention about this so you have to pay a bit attention about the socket and uh, the, the brand. So if you buy AMD, you have to try to get a motherboard for AMD. If it is for Intel, you have to get a motherboard for Intel. So we are going to see those things. So in this case, we have Intel socket LCA. We have the model is 775 and then 1156, 1155 and uh, all those sockets, they have different model so in this case the first one you're going to see Pentium 4, Pentium 4 Extreme Edition, Celeron, Core 2 Duo, Core 2 Quad, usually it's Quad Core, and Xeon etc. So that is the, the thing so pay attention because if you're going to get the certification for CompTIA A+, they are going to ask you for these kind of things. So in this case, uh, we have 1156, we have Core i3, i5, i7, Pentium, Celeron, and later we have the 1155. It's the same, almost the same one as the other one is i3, i7, i5, Pentium, Celeron, Xeon, and the other one in the 1366, we have a Core i7, Xeon Celeron and 2011 Core i7 and i7 Extreme Edition and Xeon. Remember, Xeon is the processor for servers, and that's it. Um, later on, I'm going to tell you which one are for AMD. Uh, we have 1150 Core i3, 5, and 7, and we have Pentium, Celeron, and Xeon as well. And in the last one, we have 1150. It's just the, the same one as before. So it's exactly the same as before. And here we are, we have AMD. In AMD, we have different sockets. So in this case, uh, Intel, they, they'll tell you by the model, you know the amount of pings, but in AMD, you will not see that. So in this case, I'm going to tell you the amount of pings, but uh, you will know the, the socket. So they, they named the, this um, socket, Let, let's say in this case, a, AM3. AM3, we have 90, uh, nine, 941 pins, and the model are Fe uh, Phenom 2, Athlon 2, Sempron, and Opteron. Opteron, that is the brand for servers. And in this case, we have AM3, Plus, in this case, it's just 942 pings. And we have the FM1. Those, those ones are usually the APU or APU uh, CPUs. In this case, it has 905, usually it's the A series. Uh, we have the FM2 Plus, it's 904 pings and is the A series as well. And here we have maybe the 60, uh, 632 and 30, 
34. So this both socket, I mean, you, you, if you are wondering, oh, I never hear about it. Well, that is because it's aimed to uh, servers. So this is uh, this chip is for servers. In this case, we have 1974 uh, pings for the Opterum. That is the, the name. Uh, we have uh, for the G32, we have 1207 for Opteron. So that is all the sockets and the pings that you have to memorize. So now we are going to see the other side. In this case, we are going to see, I hope you can see it well. I'm going to move it so the reflect will not uh, bother you. And in this case, we have uh, the side frame uh, processor numbers. So like I said before, you are start seeing maybe different numbers and all the things that you don't know what it is. So I'm going to teach you here. We're going to talk about AMD and then Intel. In this case, we are going to start with Intel. For example, we have Intel Core i7 5775C. So if you're wondering, okay, what is this number? What does it mean? I mean, when you go and, um, and you ask, hey, give me this processor or someone is telling you, okay, yes, I have this processor or what? Okay, what it means? So in this case, we are going to take apart all these uh, numbers and, and letters and we are going to see, okay, first, Intel Core is the brand, okay, that is easy. We have i7, i7 is the modifier, so this is what we have here. And then we have the five, number five here, is the generation, so that is very good. So that way you know if the, if the CPU is going to work with the motherboard that you have or not, or the, the one that you're thinking to buy. Also, you will know if you're buying the latest generation or not of a CPU. And then the next number is the 775, that is the SQU number. If you're thinking, well, what is that? Okay, it means stocking keeping units. So that is the model, so how, the manufacturer keeps track of the of the model of the CPU. Uh, we have the, the latest one here, the C. The C means it's a alpha suffix. In this case, it's a desktop um, processor with graphic card. So that is very easy. And in the socket is LGA1150. So that is what it means. And now we have another example here. So we have Intel Core i7-5950HQ. We have the, uh, the same as usual, a Intel Core, that is the brand. We have the i7 is the modifier. We have the number five in this case here. It will be the generation. We have the, uh, we have the SKU number. So in this case is 950. Uh, we have HQ, in this case, alpha suffix. In this case, it's a mobile uh, CPU, so that is very easy. And as you can see, it's a mobile quad core with graphics cards. That is, is very easy. And here we have AMD. So AMD, we have the, the model and the, and the brand. So in this case, AMD brand, easy. Uh, 